I had the opportunity to demo the new eDingo 500 with a local interior construction and demolition contractor. They were extremely impressed. One of the first things they called out was the size of the machine. They said, we really got that right. Yeah, that's the, one of the most important things when we talk to contractors and customers was the width. It's got to fit through a 36 inch door, which we know is closer to 30 inch by the time you consider the crash bar and the frame of the door. So this machine, we designed it for 30 inches wide. Right, it needed to fit in an elevator, so we know it needed to be under 2,500 pounds. Also, you gotta be able to go around corners and tight hallways, so with the platform in the rear, it's short, short overhangs to get around those corners. We also needed to learn a lot about building codes so that the ground pressure of this machine was capable to go anywhere, so we talked to some experts. And we've got a whole suite of attachments, such as this 30-inch floor scraper here. We've got 30-inch bucket, 30-inch grapple bucket, and forks. Yes, they used the 30-inch attachments, they worked great, and not only did they use those attachments, they used a concrete breaker. We had to take the machine up to the third floor and break out the concrete floor, and they used that, that attachment. That uses a lot of power, doesn't it? Absolutely, that's the most power-consuming attachment we have. To run that concrete breaker, we've developed a hydraulic circuit to do just that. We also developed the hypercell battery internally at Toro, where we have all the controls of those variables that put into a battery, such that uh, we can optimize it for all those jobs. And we have six hypercell batteries for 13.5 kilowatt hours. And also we have electric traction motors to give us the power and the efficiency to run all day long. We also put the battery charger on board so they can charge it on all those job sites. Yeah, they were impressed. We were able to run the machine all day. We brought it out early in the morning. We, we ran all day, all the way into the afternoon, and did all kinds of jobs, really difficult jobs, breaking concrete, moving broken down walls, moving debris. That, it really takes a tough design to do that. How, how did you build a machine that was tough enough to handle that type of work? Well, we're not new to doing tough designs. We've been doing dingoes for 25 years, and with the e-dingo, it's no different. We have three-quarter inch thick loader arms on this machine to handle those jobs. Yeah, that's great, and, and there's a number of other features of this machine just that are specifically for interior construction and demolition. What are some of the other things that you had to add to the machine to make that, that work better for a customer? We have a standard LED light, so when you're in the indoor environment and there's no power, you have a light to do your work. We also have uh, for the finished floors, we have solid non-marking tires, and if you're on non-finished floors, we have optional, more aggressive tires. We heard from the contractor that they're very impressed with how easy it was to operate the eDingo 500 and learn how to use the controls. What went into developing controls that were so easy to use? We added Toro patent traction controls and integrated auxiliary hydraulics into the loader arm control. And for productivity, we found it to be important to be able to maneuver in tight spaces and run the loader arm at the same time. Yeah, I agree. They, and they mentioned that, that productivity and ease of use is so very important to them. I really believe we hit a home run with this E-Dingo 500.